Well, Black Kitty, who I've sort of named Terminator for reasons that will become obvious in a while, uh, seems to be turning out to be a very good cat when it comes to catching mice and more than just mice. That kitty cat is a real off-grid cat. It ain't no, uh, I won't eat anything that's not out of a packet. I've only ever caught one chipmunk once. Sort of cat, it's the, well, her mother was a feral who lived entirely off uh, other animals and she's got the right genetics and she's got the right attitude. And uh, <laughs> it's funny, I was sort of thinking the other day, I saw a Kinder Surprise ad, you know, little eggs and they got a little toy and I thought, you know, these mice and the cats are getting, they're pretty much like a Kinder Surprise in reverse. Instead of getting the thing to eat and then play with the toy, it's like, play with the toy first, you know, they keep messing with the mouse and just teasing it. And then when it finally wears out or you finally accidentally kill it or whatever, then, then you eat it. It's like a kinder surprise for cats but in reverse, you know, because cat food ain't going to jump all over the place, but those little mice will. And uh, the other day she got a frog and it was squeaking its guts out and it sounded like a flipping squeaky toy, like, you know, those ones you buy at the dollar store for your dog sort of thing. And uh, I didn't take it off her, and, and if I had of, oh, it would have died of its injuries in a couple of hours anyway. But um, yeah, what you'll see next that may be hard to pick up on is actually her eating a rabbit leg, and then you'll see a bit more stuff of my off-grid kitty and a real off-grid life and what she gets up to at night. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. That's that's actually hard to believe. <laughs> don't growl at me now, Black Kitty. I know you don't like me putting the camera too close to you. Well, you don't like me getting too close to you at all when you're eating or when you've caught food. Oh gosh, hang on. I think you may be able to see that's still red. Where's he going, buddy? Oh, there he is. Stop closing the door here and... Don't touch the bat, cat. No, buddy. He's not to play with. Whoa. Oh great, yeah. This happens about every six months. I got a bat inside the house. They're very small little ones, but I hope he does go through into the bathroom there. You're not eating the bat buddy because if he bites you you may get something that's related to rabies. No, I'm not opening the door for you either. Okay? I'm going to leave Batty alone and he's going to fly out wherever the hell he goes. Probably past the chimney. Okay? you just been eating a rabbit. You don't need a flaming bat as well. In a nice little box. With a little teddy bear toy as a friend. Guess who's... Uh... Well, eating a baby rabbit. I... Uh... I think she caught because it's whole and she's... Oh god, that's chew on the head. <laughs> I found somebody had a tapeworm today too. Oh, you probably don't want to see that. And, uh, yeah, so I've got to give you a little tapeworm medicine later, buddy. Make yourself useful, go catch a rabbit button like your sister just did. Uh, that rabbit you saw there was a, uh, that she was eating in the cardboard box it was from about a month ago. 
she's actually just caught one about five or ten minutes ago and uh, I was out looking at the blossoms on the almond trees and heard a hell of a squeal from basically the box, box thorns that are in front of the water tank and uh, went to see what was going on and there was no cat there it was definitely a rabbit squeal and I went into my bedroom and what do you know, Black Kitty is sitting there in the uh, bedroom with a flaming live rabbit and uh, well for the last five or ten minutes she's been playing with it inside my bedroom which is alright because uh, as long as she doesn't get any blood on the bed or anything stupid because um, all the doors close and there's no holes and so the thing's not going to get away. Um, so, unfortunately, the audio was turned off on my phone and I've had the inverter turned off because it's winter, so... I still managed to capture footage of her running around with this um, baby rabbit in my bedroom and uh, under torchlight with no audio, so here it is.